stay with us. So today is Black Friday in the U.S. and the whole world has caught up into this Black Friday frenzy. So on the show today, we have Davido Farms, who's also going to be sharing his Black Friday plans. So Davido Farms, the CEO, David Dollar. David Dollar. That's it, Davido. <laughs> so, oh, I do apologize. David Dollar <laughs> Farms. I sincerely apologize, sir. <laughs> CEO and founder, David Dollar Farms, Nigeria. Mr. Shegwan Labi is here to tell us their plans for Black Friday. Welcome to the show. Thank you for Good having me. Good to have you. Thank you for having so, me. So everybody's excited about Black Friday because everybody goes out today to shop to get discounts and all that. But you're here today to share with us what David Dola is doing and yes. what Black Friday discounts are available for us. Yes. So tell us, what's the, tell us about David Dola Farms Farm first. Well, thank you. David Dola is a pineapple farm estate management. You can also say a, a real estate farming. And what we specialize uh, in is pineapple. We deal with pineapple. And uh, the value chain in pineapple uh, is enormous. You can't even number them. And today being Black Friday, uh, uh, September when we were here and we tell people about what we want to roll out, that day, within, within two days, the number com was completed. And uh, today, a lot of people were calling that, oh, what, what do you have for us for Black Friday? I said, okay, no problem. We're going to roll, up, roll out something for you. Mm -hmm. And today now, for the first 100 people that we kill him, they're going to enjoy 200,000 and some other benefits. Mm. Well, that that discount discount it's a discount, not a cash. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a discount. Yes. Okay. Oh, so you know, um, pineapple is such a pineapple farming. I've heard is such a tricky um, business or farming. Why? Why did you decide to do pineapple? Thank you. That is a very good uh, question. <laughs> uh, we've done so many, so many agricultural practices. We've done cassava. We've done maize. We've done vegetables. And come to think of it, pineapple is so blessed that uh, whenever, when you are into it, you will get the right thing. What do I mean by that? There's a fear in the heart of every farmer that when they produce something, they don't even know whether they're going to harvest it. Why? Because cow can get into that farm and eat everything. But in case of pineapple, cow doesn't eat it. And it's a very rugged plant mm -hmm. that you know that yeah, when chuku, I... Chuku. Well, Yes. Uh -huh. So <laughs> the, the cow cannot enter into the farm and yeah. they want to eat it because of that, that pie. So it's, it's a business that you can, you can say, this is what I want to get, and you get what you said you want to get. Mm. Okay. So how can people benefit from the agricultural business? Because, you know, after the last time you came, I was having conversations with a few people, and they were like, ah, farming in Nigeria, anything can happen. Uh, maybe tomorrow the government comes to say they want you know, these parts of the uh, land, yes, change the policy. How do you ensure that uh, people who buy into the pineapple farm are protected and their investments are protected? Okay, thank you. Now, what David Dola does, when we want to get a land, we don't, just, we don't just buy random land because land is a very sensitive thing in Nigeria, in this part of the world. And when you don't meet the right people or the right person, when it's come to land, you can find yourself in trouble oh. within a short period of time. Yeah. We heard what happened in Ekota, in other places where their house been dem demolished. Now, coming to farming, when we want to get anything, we make sure that we reach the right source. If you check our website or our Instagram, you will see a lot of conversation, even with the king. Because what, if you want to buy, for example, where we are in Nagwewe, you know, it's more than a thousand hectares. Now, one family cannot own that. So if you are dealing with one family without the notice of the king, you are in trouble. Because one person from family can just sabotage every, everyone. Mm -hmm. But what they do in a go way that makes make me feel interest and love with them is because whatever, when you are buying land, king must know. In fact, the money to be shared within the community or within the family must be shared in the, in the palace. Mm -hmm. So that every family, if you are not in Nigeria, yeah. call one of your family. Everything is being transparent. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing like, oh, tomorrow I wasn't aware. We've been in, we've been at Goa, you know, for more than three years. Mm -hmm. We've not had any single issue with anybody. Okay. So, so it's secure. So what if um, someone had an inheritance of hectares of land and decides, ah, you know, I want to do this partner, uh, or want, want to partner with you, for instance, how, how does that work? Do you do that? Okay, yes, we do that. In fact, if you have 100 hectares, just 
just reach out to us. And then the other question about the government, that, oh, government can come tomorrow and say this. You know that in Nigeria, pineapple is a tropical fruit. Mm. So it can only grow in a tropical rainforest. Mm. Okay. It can go, it can, go, it can be grown everywhere. Oh. So like in the northern part of Nigeria now, you oh. can grow it. Okay. If you want to even do it in savannah, you will spend a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But in tropical, because that is what that fruit even uh, symbolizes, that tropical fruit. So it can only be grown in tropical uh, uh, rainforest. In fact, there are some governments that have already reached out to us, that they want to partner with us. Some, so last month, we had a meeting with one of the state governments in Nigeria. And then the, one of the things they said is they said, we, they've even done that pineapple before, and there was no single pineapple on the, on the, on the land. Mm. Why? Because they don't know the native gritty when it's come to pineapple farming. And we are hoping, because Nigeria, if we are, if we are putting all our, all our focus on government, we, 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 just, we just wait the eternity. Mm. But individuals can come together and let us build our nation. Yeah. Like, okay, today now, before, before I come to the air, somebody, somebody sent a message from the UK and said, please, we in the diaspora, because it's one of the people who listened to us last time that we came here, and said, please, we in the diaspora, please remember us. In fact, the man was saying, I actually want to come back home, but if I come back, what do I want to come back, back to? to. I come back to. So he needs something to be built that when he comes back home, something will be coming. And me, this is where... Who is watching you now? They want to understand exactly what the process is. So is it that you have the land is available, you plant for them, or you already planted hectares, you and you're them. going to assign and locate them a certain part of the farm and then cultivate for them. What is, how, is, how does it work? Okay, it's in two ways. But what we are selling to this already planted pineapple. pineapple. Okay. So there's pineapple on it already. Okay. One, for, for those who, who came in the last time, yes. some of them have even collect, they are, they are collecting their uh, deed of assignment and their, all, their, all their documents already. And by first, first to second week of December, we're doing allocation. Mm. So we still have more. So if you check, if you kill in now, yeah. you'll be part of people that the land will be allocated to mm -hmm. by December. What's the value? Do you want to open stuff about? Now, uh, we're selling for 1.5 million per plot. Okay. And then because we are black and uh, we are doing black black Friday, uh, <laughs> black Friday that's why <laughs> we're, we're black. black. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, instead of paying 500,000 naira, you are paying. I mean, 1.5 uh, 1.5 mm -hmm. million. You are paying. 1.3 million for, so for the black. Once the Black Friday hands, it jumps back to. In 1. fact, 5. by January, I can tell you for free and note this by, fe by January, the price is going to be doubled. Mm. Somebody called last week, uh, last time that when we came here, he said, Oh, I listened to you 2000 and 2021 when you came to TVC, and it pains me that I didn't join that time. Mm. Now, the person the has, uh, has gotten a home. So this is opportunity. And apart from that, for the first 100 people that we kill him, there's another special gift for them. Ah, like what? Special gift for them. So that one, we don't want to be saying everything okay. here, but there's okay. a special okay. gift okay. for the special first 100. Gift. Yes. Special right. gift. Yes. I just want to ask um, about the sort of sustainability part of um, a uh, pineapple. Given the videos we're seeing, we're seeing diapers, we're seeing clothing, we're seeing cutlery. In what ways do does this um, color, um, you know, reflect mm. on the pineapple? Okay, I thank you. Say. Now, pineapple is a wonderful fruit, wonderful plant. Do you know that a lot of people just what they know about pineapple is just let me do juice or smoothie, but with pineapple you can make cloth. With pineapple you can make shoe. Mm. With pineapple, you can make diaper. With pineapple, you can make disposable plastic. So it's a whole lot of things embedded in mm. pineapple. So the value change is so, is so yeah, big. Mm. For example, in the, next, in the next 15 months, by God's grace, we are, going to, we are, we are, we are, we are working towards setting up our own factory that, is, that will be producing concentrate. And that will be the first in the whole of West Africa. And as I'm talking to you here, we have three off-takers already. One of them is requesting for 300 metric tons of concentrate per wow. month. Wow. 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 That's a lot. So that is a whole You're lot. Making money in this That's a new yeah. business. That is a, a new business on, on it. Ah. And do you know what? In Nigeria, 
for example, our neighboring country, mm. for, for like, like Kotonu, they produce and they bring pineapple to Nigeria. Yes, yes. we buy theirs. Because good. we don't produce to the maximum capacity. Mm. Okay. We produce lesser than what we consume. Yeah. So we have to depend on other countries to, to, so that we can mm -hmm. argument no, what we, we are producing. We have our and own. we have land. We also have variety. Because we have now, okay, yeah. let me tell you about yeah. variety. Yes. About variety. Uh, there's one they call Kotonu pineapple. Yeah. yeah. That one, the right name uh, is uh, sugar loaf. That one that looks like a pendulum. It's like very sweet. That one is very, very sweet. But that one is not even good for consumption. For consumption. To consume it raw, it is not good. That one yeah. that we like. Mm. That one that you like. It's sugar, it's sweet. Uh, uh, the more you are taking it, uh, uh, something is going on in your system. Wow. But the best one, like the, the one on the, on, the, on the screen, that one is called a smooth cayenne. Okay. That one that they call it bende pie. Some people call it yeah, bende pie. That's the that's the best. The best, the best of the best. The best of the best is uh, MD two. Okay. We don't plant that one in this part oh, sure. of the world because oh. it's, it's it's double. Ex uh, the expense on that one is double this. Uh, right. So because of pie. timing, I need to ask for payment plan options and then now we have, how long does your agreement end? What was the, what's the okay? We have payment agreement. plan. Mm -hmm. uh, if you drop 500,000, the remaining payments can be spread, spread into three months. Okay. So within three months, you, uh, you, make, uh, you finish your payments. Now, what comes to the, to the people who are buying this thing from us? Yes. Now, you get 36% of your, of your capital for the next five, ten years. Okay. Which means if, you are, if, if we are calculating of 1.5 million, it means you'll be getting... 540,000 naira every year. Just go and sleep. We oh. do the work for you. Yeah. Say amen. <laughs> yeah. So that is how... For the next five to ten years. For the next five to ten years. And after that, because uh, the, the value is increasing. So the value of your land is increasing. So by, f by 50 years, you cannot be collecting... 500,000 500, naira again. It means that it's going to be upward... Uh, uh, review yeah. of what you are getting, and for example, maybe maybe every every bush today, every every uh, uh, urban area today was once a bush. Yes. Maybe in some in some years to this time, that place become an urban area. You can turn that place to okay. to a real estate. We have to wrap up, but thank you very much. Any phone number you could have, they can reach you on that they can if they want to get in contact. Okay, the number you can reach on uh, is zero 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 eight zero one. One six four six four three zero seven. Maybe I just say it again. Yes, yes. Zero eight one one six four six four three zero seven. And you can also reach to us on our Instagram at Davidola underscore farm. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. And once again, this is our sponsored segment. We are not uh, investors or members of the David Dollar Farmers, but we appreciate that you've been here for this. Thank segment. You. Thank you so much. That's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, we go on to our hot topic of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.